वेलकम इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंजल ग्रैंजर प्रोसीजर फॉर को इंटीग्रेशन नो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जोहेंसन को इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर यूजिंग स्टेटा इन जोहेंसन को इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर वी एस्यूम ऑल वेरिएबल्स आर नॉन स्टेशनरी दे लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन इज स्टेशनरी डेटा विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वेब यूज लुक के पोहल दिस ई एट पोहल इज नॉट देयर इन स्टेटा एंड हाउ डू वी डू दैट लेट्स सी ओके वेब यूज clear we have this data let's browse so all set you have qtr we'll see the relationship between investment income and consumption first of all we'll see whether variables are uh, non stationary if all variables are non stationary then what so in this case first of all we need to set time series data as uh, uh, data as time series so quarter variable is already in proper format so we just declare it to be time series qtr quarterly okay all set 1960 to quarter 1 to 1982 quarter 4 and no we just go two way line so that we have a uh, lot of all these three variables and you can click here log of investment log of income log of consumption all three variables are upward upward trending one variable is missing okay that is basically we am a defined actually time variable so we have all three variables upward trending so there may be trend to be included as well so first step will be to uh, see whether these variables are stationary or non stationary and before that we need to find out how many very uh, lags we need so the, the, uh, how many legs we need for log of investment we need one leg okay and then we apply dk fuller on ln investment investment trend may also be included legs is one so <clears throat> this is non stationary because minus 2.06 is Uh, not uh, less than minus 4.06 because this dicky fuller test is one sided here alternative is always row is less than uh, row is less than one so uh, now we take var soc uh, d d log of investment now we take its first difference and we see here zero leg and we test it dicky fuller dl investment legs zero and it is stationary okay it's stationary at first difference same process we'll do with uh, consumption income again we have here uh, one this fp is suggesting four other one this this is su suggesting as one leg so we'll do here income and again it is non stationary we take its first difference and we apply it d k fuller you'll see again it will be zero d log of income with zero leg it's stationary and finally we have uh, soc l log consumption so we have four legs here so we apply four legs dk fuller log consumption trend legs four it is non stationary we take its first difference dk fuller okay var soc d log consumption so here we need two leg or three legs okay so we just go with dk fuller d log consumption legs 
so it is stationary so all variables are stationary uh, at first difference and are non stationary at level no what it means now we have to run a basic war model and war basic on all these th three variables to select what is appropriate lag selection and log of consumption and lags 1 to 10 okay now we just run var soc so we are we we come up that one leg should be selected or <coughs> sorry three legs should be selected so either one or three depending upon which criteria you are using so once we have defined it that we have all these three variables are non-stationary at level stationary at first difference and we need one leg or three legs no it comes that we have five equations we have five cases for testing for co-integration if you go here vector co-integration rank of a vector so in this case whether include no co nothing none whether to include constant only in long run relationship constant in long run relationship as well as in equation a trend in long run in um, uh, the, uh, the error correction and basically <coughs> none means no constant either in ecm or in uh, equation r constant means constant in ecm but no constant in equation constant means uh, constant in ecm as well as constant in equation r trend means that trend in ecm but not in equation trend means in equation and in ecm so the, you can you can uh, uh, watch my uh, video on Johansson co-integration procedure with the equations listed there. So usually we live with this third third equation, but first of all let's say we go with this lag, and we have here log of investment, log of income, log of consumption, and we have either one lag or we can have three legs submit it will it may change your results it may change your results so in this case what do we see that more than uh, this null hypothesis of uh, the, uh, the, uh, zero co-integration is rejected one is rejected two is rejected uh, so it, it, this is three and in th it's not possible to have three it means no, no uh, 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 all variables are stationary so let's go with the first option constant and submit so in this case we have okay if we take ch ch change the legs instead of one we take three legs what happens so you see this leg selection criteria is very important and it may change your results in this case it seems there is one co-integration procedure uh, uh, vector so we have come up with an equation that this is your VEC, VEC rank, log of investment, log of income, log of consumption. Here, what do we say? That we have three possibilities. First is none. Other one is R constant. Other one is constant, the third case where we have, other one is R trend. And final one is trend in ECM and trend in equation. So in case of three legs, in case we have three legs, optimal legs three, we see that there is co-integration between uh, <coughs> investment, consumption and income. So we, we uh, then we go to the next step that is estimating uh, the, the, uh, whether variables are weakly exogenous if someone is weakly exogenous what happens or if you have some other uh, constraints as well so you can estimate vacuum models and all that thank you for watching take care my next video will be when some variables are stationary others are non-stationary then how to apply 
ARDL procedure for point integration. Thank you for watching. Take care.